Mistakes and follow-up. The number three mistake is not on a regular basis. The call's not on a regular basis. Your calls need to be on a regular basis. The rendimity, one call now, 30 days later, another call, three months from now, it'll be another one. They're not regular enough. You need, the, you know, you need them frequent. You need volume and you need frequency. The third biggest mistake with follow-up is not regular enough. <clears throat> you need a regular, you know, it's like working out. You can work out once a week. Nothing's going to change. You ought to just stay home and eat cookies. It's not even an attempt to change things. Don't even pat yourself on the back for one workout. The only thing that happens is you hurt once a week. Four times a month, you're in pain. The way for that workout to work is every day. You're going to feel better about yourself. It's, it's going to create a discipline. It's going to create a different sense of self-esteem in yourself. The calls, the follow-up, the mail needs to be on a regular basis. Remember, with follow-up, be the stream, not the rock. The rock will not beat the stream ever. When I start calling people back with regularity over and over, today, three days from now, six days from now, you know, we're going to show you a whole schedule that we lay out for you over a period of two years for follow-up laid out. By that time, you'll pick up the rest of it, okay? Calls on a regular basis will start to wear a client out. It'll start to build your persona in the marketplace. It'll make you the celebrity. It'll take you out of obscurity because you're regular. You're there all the time. You're like the policeman on the corner, the teacher in the classroom. You're dependable. You're trustworthy. You're the relationship. You're the contact to become a contract. Be regular. It's a mistake in follow-up.